Hey, what's up everybody? It is uh, September 4th, so happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day, America. Um, and it is 11.42 p.m. It is getting pretty late, I'm getting pretty tired, uh, but I have to still do a video. And um, so today was leg day with a quad focus. I gen On these days I generally just do uh, like a ton and ton and ton of squats um, and I usually call it good. Um, but today I decided to do a variety of different exercises for my quads and um, and just kind of feel out where I am because it's been you know two almost two I think almost three weeks since I've done quads and stuff like that again. So uh, today I started with a five minute warm up run. Then I went to front squats. I don't do back squats anymore just because I don't feel like I'm that good at them. Um, and front squats, I love the way they feel, I love that it works my core, and I, I get that involved. So I've been doing front squats a lot more. And today I just did a, uh, like a kind of pyramid progression, which was, I started, I went from like 45 to 95 to 115 to 135, and for the reps I did 20, 15, 12, 10, 8. Uh, I want to say somewhere around there uh, for those, and after that I moved to... Uh, what did I do after that? After that, I went to oh, um, I went to leg extensions. I, I like doing uh, usually I like doing leg extensions first just because it's able to uh, kind of pre-exhaust my muscles. However, I've noticed that my right knee has been having a lot of pain with uh, with those leg extensions. So I, if I do them after my squats, they don't hurt as much. And for that, I kept it really light. I think I kept it at like I supersetted them with themselves uh, with doing two-legged two-legged leg extensions. I started at 85 pounds and then I did 10 of those and then I dropped it to 25 pounds and did uh, 10 on each leg. And then I upped the weight after that because it was like super easy. Uh, I needed to kind of push myself a little bit more. I didn't want to take it easy but not, not that easy. So I went up to 100 pounds uh, for my two legs and then I went to 30 pounds for my single legs. I did that for three reps or for three sets and after that I went to the leg press machine and uh, for the leg press machine, I just threw on, I, I started with three plates on each side and did 12 reps. Uh, and then I moved up to four, four plates on each side. Uh, I'm not sure the math on that, 450, 450, no, I don't know, whatever. Um, and I did that for another two sets. And then I uh, went over to the another leg press machine, which is um, more horizontal. It's more of a machine rather than just moving plates. And um, that one actually, felt really weird. I wasn't used to the one in the gym, so I decided not to do that. I usually do it for single leg squats. Uh, I do it, um, so uh, that one only did one set of uh, ten on each, ten on each foot. And then I'm wanting, I want to do hack squats next time, and um, I think that's all I did for the day. As for cardio, I went on a small walk with my mom and my dog uh, later in the day, and uh, that was about it for exercise. As for food. Um, we kept it very, very clean the first half of the day. It was just um, chicken, eggs. I had some cottage cheese with protein and strawberries. Um, I had a piece of wheat bread and some more chicken. But as it's Independence Day and my mom made and bought some food, I decided to have a piece of pizza, or two pieces of pizza. And uh, she cut up some chicken for me, so that was kind of nice. Um, we did go over our... Uh, our cutting, our cutting calorie goal of 2,000 calories, I know I did, uh, by somewhere around 100. We did not go over our daily maintenance, which is somewhere around 2,400, 2,500. Uh, so I mean, that's a give and take there. I don't, I don't think uh, that was great. I don't think that was bad, though, at the same time. Uh, so random stuff. Um, I have a real big problem with... Um, like saying that it's okay to eat something, like rationalizing eating poorly. I have a really big problem with that. Like, oh, you know, I, I work legs today and I did a little, you know, very little bit of cardio. So that's generally a more, a more intensive day than doing arms or shoulders or chest or something. So, you know, oh, I'm, I'm allowed to have, you know, another, you know, 100 calorie bag of popcorn or something. Or I'm allowed to have, you know, a few, you know, handfuls of chips or whatever. Oh, I have a really big problem with that. And I really, really need to work on seeing food. <laughs> I don't know, like, it's kind of weird to say, but, like, when I walk in the kitchen, I have to walk some... My room goes through the kitchen and then to the living room, that's everything else. And so I walk through the kitchen 
to go everywhere. And when I see the food, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm fine, it's cool. But when I when I keep seeing it back and forth, I'm like, oh, you know, oh, maybe I'll have some this time. Maybe I'll have some this time. So I think something I need to work on is my self control. I have terrible, terrible self control. And the only reason I was doing so well back when I was living alone was because I couldn't afford these snacks and luxuries. So I basically just had my meals for the day, and eating extra basically meant I was eating less the next day. While as here, it's basically an unlimited amount of food. So that's something I really, really need to work on. Cardio, waking up for cardio, I really, really need to work on that because I, I woke up this morning. Granted, Sheree was here this morning. I kind of wanted to sleep in and you know spend as much time with her as much time with her as I could before she left. Because uh, I don't know, she's either coming back in like maybe a few days or maybe two weeks. So thought I'd get as much time as I could. Um, as for Fourth of July, um, my parents went out and got a few fireworks, which we sit out with our Saudi Arabian student who lives with us at the moment. And uh, everything was going well, everything was going great. But for our grand finale, we set up a bunch of them, we always set up a bunch of them in our cul-de-sac and light them up all at the same time. Me and my mom, uh, I think Sheree was there last year, my dad, and then this year we had, uh, instead of Sheree, we had our Saudi Arabian student. So we light them all up, and then I light mine and start running back, start watching you, just boom, right, boom. Turns out one of the ones in the middle had actually fallen over and blown up. Like it was loud, loud boom, which was super scary. And it knocked over other ones. So another one, you know, started to blow up. And everyone, like a lot of the neighbors that were doing stuff in the backyard started to come out in the front, like, what is going on? And uh, I was starting to get actually scared. And so nothing big happened. Just like there were some, I think there were three big explosions. Like some of our big ones just fell over and after a little bit just blew up. Oh my gosh. So. Uh, I mean, after 14 years of nothing bad ever happening, that wasn't so bad. But I mean, like it was—it was pretty scary. Uh, luckily, nothing, no one got hurt, nothing bad happened, and hopefully, everyone else was pretty safe uh, everywhere else. So I think that was it for today. I'm getting pretty tired. I'm gonna go ahead and probably maybe watch another episode or two of Silicon Valley, uh, and um, yeah, and probably go to bed after that. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great night, day, whatever. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.